there and I'm turning that down getting the face in a good spot so shift drop bow now once you feel you can coordinate that try it on a really slow swing and that felt very very solid for probably a 70 percent swing hey golfers welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to do something what i call shift drop and bow all right so stick with me sounds like a lot of things to do we're going to simplify it and it's really really going to help you out in your downswing so much all right so stick around for today's video if you're new to the channel welcome if you haven't done so already please don't forget to hit the like button hit the subscribe button it helps this channel so much just even doing something like that drop in the comments let me know what you're struggling with in your game if there's anything i can help you with i can maybe even make a little video to help you and plenty of other people that struggle with the same issues all right guys let's get started so shift drop and bow now what is this talking about so shift is going to be from the top of our backswing how we shift our weight into our lead side okay the drop is going to be the element of our arms dropping down okay and the bowing is going to be the club face so the lead wrist is going to bow and get this club face in a good position as we make this shift and drop move all right now it's tricky i'm going to do each of them in three separate bits and then tie it all together you'll have to do the same what i don't want you to do is jump on the range and go shift drop bow bang whoa <laughs> doesn't work all right so we'll do it in segments the first part the shift all right you're going to go to the top of your back swing i want you to hold it up there okay and the first move i want you to make is i want you to feel like this left knee hip and shoulder start to move across to the point where the ankle knee hip and shoulder are in one line okay so it's pretty much just from the top static position and let that move you'll see i'll kind of squat down a little bit as i do that right that's the shift that could even help you out a little bit all right so up to the top here knee moving across hip shoulder i'm not doing anything with the club at this point it's staying up it's going to drop a little we'll get to that in a second so here there you see the club comes with me a little bit okay so that's the shift part try that first feel the knee hip shoulders move towards the target and you're not doing anything up here with the arms they're just coming along for the right all right so that's the shift element now the drop is the arms catching up okay dropping down now think of it this way why do we drop the club or the hands sorry hands and arms well the golf swing right if you think about it in the back swing club travels around 180 degrees say shoulders 90 hips 45. now what do a lot of people do they fire the club then the shoulders and the hips and it's all out of sync all right this has traveled the biggest distance we want it to catch up a little bit so we gotta let it kind of fall okay so it catches up and it can all turn through together all right so the drop element as you've practiced the the shift what you're going to do in fact just do this first let the club of the arms drop i'm not pulling i'm literally letting them fall okay they're actually straightening a little bit as well you can see here so drop okay now if i do the don't worry about the club face we'll get to that with the bow part but I get to the top and I shift and drop. Okay, just down to this last parallel is perfect. So shift and drop. You can see that there. Okay, now what you can do is you can go ahead and actually hit a couple of shots, shifting and dropping. It might go slightly to the right because we haven't got the face yet. So we're going to go top, feel, shift and drop. Okay, really good position here. Nice and easy, top, shift and drop. I can feel like going a little bit to the right because it didn't have the club face in the spot, the right spot to be able to facilitate the drop or the shift and drop. Very confusing this. Hopefully I keep it simple. Okay, so the bow element, right? I got a, a drill that I did uh, the other recent video. Do you think it might have came out just, oh, it's I don't know, it came out before this one. T in the glove here, okay? Just unvelcro your glove, fasten it back up, keep the T in the little groove in here, 
All right. If you're anything like me and you like to wear a good quality leather glove when you're playing golf, but don't fancy paying a high price tag for it only to fall apart in about three shots, well, go and check out my channel sponsors page, gxgolfgloves.com. Use code David at checkout and you'll save yourself a nice little bit of cash as well. So now the bow element, what I want you to do is you've kind of mastered the shift and drop part. We're going to let this actually, as we do it, turn this T more down to the ground. And it's putting the club face in a good spot, like matching my spine here at last parallel. Okay, so tricky to coordinate. It's like trying to rub your tummy and pat your head at the same time. Didn't actually think I'd get that. So you've got a lot going on, right? So do it in three separate parts. We have shift, drop, bow. So there. There, and I'm turning that down, getting the face in a good spot. So shift, drop, bow. Now once you feel you can coordinate that, try it on a really slow swing. And that felt very, very solid for probably a 70 percent swing all right this one is fantastic tricky at first please hang with me try them in segments it will really really help you Dr shift first get that then the drop and then get the t in there and try and bow it now you don't really have to do much else from here because your body will react to everything that's going on through impact you'll be shifting turning because the face was better and all of those good things all right guys Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you need help with in your game. I'll see you.